morning sickness does not choose any person or any time of the day. Hello, welcome to Love at Home. For those who are new here, my name is Kim. I'm 27 years old. I've been married for almost two years and I just moved to California a few months ago from the Philippines to be with my husband. For those who don't know yet, my husband and I are expecting and I'm currently 17 weeks pregnant as of today. However, I'm going to start off with my pregnancy series quite late because we just didn't want to announce too early and during the first trimester of my pregnancy, I was really not feeling well. So right now, I'm going to start off with the symptoms that I have been experiencing for the first three to five weeks of my pregnancy. For the third week, baby is the size of a vanilla bean and for the Fourth week, baby is a size of a poppy seed. And for the fifth week, baby is a size of an orange seed. Before we start off with the signs and symptoms, I just want to explain that three weeks gestational age that I'm going to explain here is the number of weeks of your pregnancy from your last normal menstrual period. So technically, if you say you're three weeks pregnant, it just means that you're technically one week pregnant or one week from conception. But it just so happened that generally people or your medical doctor would usually use the gestational age, not the fetal age. So with that out of the way, I'm just going to use my trusting notebook here because most of the signs and symptoms that I'm going to discuss are written here. And if you just found out you're pregnant, then I advise you to use a notebook to write down all the things that you are feeling throughout the day. It just takes about one or two minutes to write everything down so that whenever you would visit your doctor or your midwife, you would be able to ask questions based on how you feel. For week three, I did not have any symptoms other than my missed period. So I wasn't really skeptical at that time because I was actually used to having irregular periods for the last four months during that time because when I gained 15 pounds since I moved here to America, that's what I think kind of triggered my body to have missed periods or irregular periods again and it's not very healthy i know but when i was healthier in the philippines and i was working out like five to six times a day i was having regular periods then anyways um it's not something new to me because back in 2014 2015 when i was about 165 pounds um i was having my period like three or four times a year so it was way worse than that Anyway, so I missed my period and I took a pregnancy test and it showed a faint line. So a faint line would generally mean that it's positive. However, it's still early on in the pregnancy and it might also mean that your HCG is not enough yet or the level is too low for the test to be detected. I mean for your pregnancy to be detected by the test. After seeing that faint line a day after, my husband and I took more pregnancy tests to make sure that it was really positive because we didn't want to get our hopes up, right? And then, of course, it showed that everything was positive and we were so happy. And then a few days after, I went to my OB who also confirmed that I'm pregnant. So she congratulated me and all. And that was around my fourth week already so for the fourth week the baby is the size of a poppy seed so at this point i was still not experiencing any symptoms of pregnancy or any kind of pain sore breast or um, pain in the abdomen i'm not feeling any kind of that it's just my missed period that's it i was still able to work out a bit but of course i was Kind of afraid of doing my usual routine like doing deadlifts or doing a PR. I'm not doing that anymore. So I was merely just doing some light exercises. What I have noticed during my fourth week was my skin got so glowy. I mean, when I moved here to California, I generally have an oily skin because in the Philippines, the weather there is quite hot and humid so I tend to have a very oily skin but here in California I tend to have a 
very dry skin to the point that it's really flaky that it just looks like dandruff on my face that's how flaky my face looks like so I think it's because my my body was producing more oil during this pregnancy it kind of balanced it out so I feel like my skin was so glowy so nice so not really dewy but it's not oily it's not dry it's nice however it didn't last that long because week five I started breaking out okay I couldn't have my regular facials because I was still early on in my pregnancy so I didn't get to have any facial extractions done so I just had a lot of breakouts going on so the first two days of my week five, I was still able to get in some light workouts, just workouts that you can watch from the from YouTube. And on the third day, I think it was the third day of my fifth week, that was the first time that I vomited and I vomited a lot. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a little bit TMI, but I vomited so much. And I actually thought that it was going to be my last vomit for that pregnancy however it is not <laughs> because my sister did not have morning sickness my two of my best friends who got pregnant didn't have morning sickness and I thought I wasn't gonna have any morning sickness because I'm pretty sure I'll be exempted because I'm eating healthy I'm working out lift weights but no morning sickness does not choose any person or any time of the day Generally, on my fifth week, I was vomiting one to four times a day, but there are also some days that I didn't vomit. And when I don't vomit, I just feel nauseous. And when I feel nauseous, I salivate a lot, like a lot. I was just really salivating, not in a good way when you see good food and you're just salivating. No, when I see food, I was just uh, like, I was very nauseous at that time. I can't believe like it just hit me that yes I am indeed pregnant I have morning sickness I also felt some cramps on my lower belly and a bit of soreness on my boobs so it wasn't that bad I had some days during my period before that it was way worse than that but yeah, I was already feeling a bit of pain or discomfort, like period pains. The pregnancy apps that I use during this pregnancy are what to expect when you're expecting the bump, or you just call it bump app, and Ovia pregnancy app. So you can just look at it at the Apple store and you'll be able to see that I think it's free, yeah. As far as I remember, it's free. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this pregnancy series. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you'll see more pregnancy updates and you can compare what your signs and symptoms were. So if you are pregnant right now or was pregnant, please let me know what were your signs and symptoms. Comment them down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!